containing explosive devices sent to multiple locations all across the country today. Some of those locations included destinations of the home of Bill and Hillary Clinton in the New York and the Obamas in D.C., also the CNN headquarters in New York City. Linda Lopez reports. This is the device discovered in the CNN mailroom that caused the cable news network. Projectiles. I mean, that's a... Excuse me, that sounds like a fire alarm here. We'll keep you posted on that. And the entire Time Warner Center to evacuate. There was at least 25 uniformed officers down there. People were online dropping things. Cashiers were, you know, dropping money. And they really wanted people out of there as soon as possible. What appears to be a small pipe bomb with wires extending from it, addressed to former CIA director John Brennan. This clearly is an act of terror. Police sources say the package appears similar to the one sent to the Westchester home of Bill and Hillary Clinton and the Obamas in D.C. discovered this morning, and the one sent to the home of billionaire George Soros two days ago. Hillary Clinton not at her home, but in Florida campaigning with Donna Shalala. She thanked the Secret Service for their quick action. We are fine, thanks to the men and women of the Secret Service. Though law enforcement is still searching for a motive, these package bombs come during a time of increasingly hostile political rhetoric. But the White House stating today that they're monitoring the situation closely. President Trump also issuing a condemnation. That acts or threats of political violence of any kind have no place in the United States of America. Multiple agencies all investigating the attempted attacks. We will turn over every rock, we will turn every corner, and we will talk to everybody that we have to in order to mitigate this threat. Now, people are being let back into the Time Warner Center, but law enforcement sources say they are concerned that other devices may still be making their way through the postal system. Linda Lopez, ABC News, New York.